Alright, run. So let's continue from here. So here, uh, I'm just gonna look at my top view, and I want to start looking at this uh, back piece first, which is the base that we started with. And I just want to let it sit nicely in here. Um, this extra bit from the top, I will just cut it off. So in Control I to invert it, height point, delete hidden, close hole. So from the front view, it looks just like this. Okay, so I want to keep it within here like this. So I really want the back view to remain like this. All right, I don't want the back view to maybe just a little bit on the back view. I don't want it to have too much detail and I don't want it to be a center attraction as well. Okay, so back view is like this front view is like this. Okay, so that's what I want to be before I go to the next step where I'm going to fold this and distort it like this. Okay, so let me trim this. So when I brush, okay, now once we are here and uh, I mentioned to you the tip before the when I brush, Control shift will create a line like this. Press alternate once, we can make it curve. Press alternate twice, we can make it curve. Alternate twice. Three times we can make it tough. So we can keep pressing alternate until we make it curve the way we want to. Okay, so let me try that again. Control shift. Alternate once. Alternate twice. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Control shift. Alternate once. Okay. Let me do that again. Control shift. Alternate once. Alternate twice. One more time. There we go. So yeah, so I do realize I have some extra parts in it, but I think that's fine. Okay, so the inner piece like this will be great. So let me start naming this. This one is the base of shoulder guard SG, and then the, I'll need rename the one outside outside SG shoulder guard shoulder guard for SG. And yep, that looks pretty good to me. So let me just check my body frame. So the, this piece has two different colors. Let me just group it up. Control W. Sorry, Control W. So make sure I don't have any mask on. And then I'll press uh, Control W. So just make sure everything has the same color. Uh, I don't think it matters that much, but I just want to um, be double check that it looks good. Okay, so this piece, same thing. I'll just press Control W when nothing is selected to just change body frame color. So to make sure that these two pieces are uh, one have its own uh, body frame color and not so separate. So now I'm going to merge the top piece down. So just uh, temporary. Why I want to merge them is because I'm going to do a safety over, by the way. <laughs> safety over before we merge. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So um, I'm going to click on the first two of the uh, customize of the gizmo tool. So when I'm on move, I press uh, customize and I'm going to use deformer. All right, so I have the deformer over here. That is set to 3 by 3 by 3 and then I'm gonna on my floor again. So I want to bring this uh, 3 points all the way up here. So this point, so I'll, from the top view, it's fairly easy for me and then uh, I'm just pulling it one by one. So we know that uh, in Maya, it's probably a bit easier, but we can do that in ZBrush too. So just force yourself to use the top view and then bring dots one by one. And then there is three dots on each of these place. So keep that in mind. And then, uh, so when I'm done, if I look at my side view, it looks like this. So pretty good, pretty good. And I managed to arch everything, you see. So just now, if um, I'm using a default settings, but 
in case yours is not you know three three by three by three um you can press this dot you know this is the one with the red button can give you more of this uh, settings dots group button it can give you on this direction green button on this direction so uh yeah but the default one works for me man so top view i'll do that and i'll arch it i'll arch it this direction and i think that's pretty good for me okay once i'm done i'll press w again so i'll get out of the customized mode and uh, now it's perfectly normal so we want to merge the two layers just now because it's temporary for me to uh do the transform of both of them together i think it's easier for me that way and then uh, we can split it up so when we want to split it up we want to make sure that these two tools uh you know they are not connected and then their colors is also different so the color difference is just a something i double check i don't think that matters that much the polyframe colors but uh, keep in mind you know at no point did i dynamesh them to join together but if i do that and if i do a dynamesh now to join them together i will no longer be able to split them up but now because uh, this this uh, red piece just now uh when i merge them they are merged but they are their foundation is actually separate it's never really merged together you know so so as long as we don't do a dynamesh here we're gonna be fine so we can still split it up so i join them so that we can split it up later and uh, i can distort them on the same degree to arch this uh, to give it this arch over here and then now i'll split it up so so i just press split to parts split to parts and it's gonna ask me and i'll say always oh, okay because i know what i'm doing and we split it up again all right so i guess just now i name it too early now i would name it again, again outside of sg outside of sgh outside of sg all right so i hope uh, you learn better so to on to view the wireframe is shift f and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next video where we start doing the screws and more detailed stuff and the fun stuff. All right, see you then. Bye.